making 3D animation videos with MovieStorm. The way I show you the features and capabilities and the order in which I perform tasks may not be the best practices for MovieStorm. Please visit their website, link below, to see the many training videos they have, and to get your own copy of the trial version of MovieStorm. We have the set from part 1. For my scene, I need a table and two chairs. The large icons at the top, center are where you select set workshop view, dressing room view, director's view, camera work view, cutting room view, publisher's view and the script editor. We will begin working in, set workshop view. The bottom left icons represent menus, for many of the functions we need. I place the table on the set. I don't need to resize the table, but, I want a different color. I didn't locate the right chair from browsing, so, I'll type in a search term. I place the chair, and, make a copy as my second chair. This is how objects are moved to new positions or new angles on the set. I want to add my first character. This is the dressing room view. I can choose my character's gender and basic appearance. I can browse outfits for my character. I can browse available characters. I choose my actor to play the character, Ben, in my scene. I am removing this guy from my cast list.
Now we are in the director's view, pictures of our cast are on the left, right now, it's just Ben. I'd like to load a sample completed scene so that you can see all the parts of the director's view working together. At the bottom is the timeline. The timeline indicated what happens, when it happens, and for how long it happens. You will also see dialogue and camera work represented on the timeline. As before, the icons in the bottom left are where we select the functions. The bottom right is the active camera view. On the timeline, we can see labels for character movement, and, for actions such as, sit down. There are indicators for character gestures, and, for where the character is looking. In Movie Storm, some complex movements are handled with a single command, such as, walk over and sit in the chair, slide the timeline marker to manually move forward, and backward, through the timeline, and, to see all the actions recorded there. Note that, after the character sits down, you can see the camera moving in for a close-up shot. Some actions are not indicated on the timeline, and, you'll have to click on an actor to see all the actions for that character. Now we are in dressing room view with our main character. We can try out other clothing for her. Now, we're checking out alternative characters and looks. We can even change elements such as skin tone, hairstyle, facial features, and much more.
we can develop entirely new characters. If we like our new character we can save them for future acting parts. Part 3 will cover directing your video scene.